Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Drew here, and welcome to 650 Fusion. Excited to have you all here, so I really appreciate you joining me. You should be able to hear and see me right now, video spotlighted. You can let me know if you need anything in the chat. I just need to adjust my screen, get myself set up here, and we will go ahead and get started with today's program. All right, so take a couple steps back for us to get started. First thing that I'm going to have you guys start with is just going to be standing position. I want you to go into one foot back, kind of be behind and diagonal, and you're just going to put your knee or put your hand there and just pull your knee up. So I'm just not really lunging back, but just stretching that leg back and then squeezing up with my abs. All right, so just go ahead and start there. Go ahead and switch now. So I'll go to the other side. Really active with the abs, pulling that knee up. And good. Now I'm going to do some straight leg kicks. And so with this, you're going to take the right foot up, reach with the left, and then switch. Just standing in place. You could travel with it too if you want to. You've got a little bit of room. Doesn't really matter if you reach your toe, just the motion. We're trying to lengthen the hamstring, warm up the hips. And good. All right, and now I'm gonna go into a wide stance, lunging my weight over to this side, hold for two to three seconds, and then shift. And shift, we're just gonna shift back and forth here. Almost there, one more. And good. All right, I'm gonna bring the feet about shoulder width apart, put my hands on the ground and walk out to a plank. So a hand walk out. So plant the hands, walk out till the hands are under your shoulders, and then reverse. Bend the knees as you need to to stand back up. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll do three times. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna stay down in that high plank. And we're gonna work a Spider-Man lunge with the rotation. So now I'm in my high plank, big step forward, and an option to take that hand closer to the foot, open up, hold for two, three, and then switch. We'll do two of these on each side. One more on each side. And my last one. And good, stop there, go ahead and stand up. I want you to take a light dumbbell right now. Alternating reverse lunge as I hold the dumbbell up at my chest, goblet hold, switching legs. Single leg work warmed up. Couple more on each leg. And good. All right, grab a pair of dumbbells. Lightweight still. Long arms, curl, press. Feel that heart rate increasing coming off of the lunges. Blood flowing into the upper and lower body. Go one more here. All right, and now I'm gonna go into a bent over row, overhand grip here. Bent over, head down, chest down, and row. Slow and under control. And good, go ahead and stop and you can set those down. All right, I wanna shift around my screen here. Give me one second and then we will get going. All right, our first move today is going to be a combo move, a lunge and a shoulder press. We're gonna be doing a single arm variation though, single arm. Um, so I'm gonna have dumbbell up at my right shoulder. You're going to step back with your left leg, going down, and then coming up and pressing. And so that's what it's gonna be. We're only doing 
this first side for each round. It will alternate each round. So for right now, right hand holding the dumbbell, left leg steps back, 10 repetitions. Let's go ahead and start. If you're not familiar with fusion, we're gonna follow a kind of a ladder or a pyramid format. I'll introduce a new exercise each round for one last rep count. We'll fall into a good pattern. So I'm going to 10 right now. I will count reps. So if you don't want to count, just follow me. Got four more. Get that momentum from my legs as I come up. I got one more. All right, and that's round number one. And now round number two, we can go over to the left side. So holding in the left, step back with your right. 10 reps, and then I'll show you what we're doing for nine today. Three more. Last one. And good. All right. Number nine. This is going to be on the ground. I'll show, I'll show the movement. The upper body stays the same. So if you do have something to be elevated off the ground, you can use it. This is called a swimmer press. So just watch my arms real quick. It's like a breaststroke. My arms are up. I go out wide in a fly, rotate in, and then press up. So it's like a breaststroke, same movement here for nine reps. If you don't have a stability ball, you can do this on the ground. Your elbows may just hit the ground a little early, which is okay. I'm gonna show from here. Nine times, everyone, go ahead and start. Being really intentional with Pressing up with my triceps, keeping the elbows close to my body. Seven, eight, nine, and then everyone needs to go ahead and stand up. One dumbbell in hand. As we start round three, we're back to the right side with our lunge and press. So right side holding, left leg stepping back. Starts getting a good rhythm now. Seven, feel that burn in the shoulder. Get the momentum from your legs. And 10, all right. Um, Whatever surface you have for your swimmer presses, nine times. And nine. All right, stay on the ground. We're gonna flip over and we're gonna do a cross body mountain climber, eight on each side. So this, hands underneath your shoulders, high plank, lead opposite elbow is one, and then one, two, then two, eight on each side. Ready, go ahead and start. I want that full range of motion. Six, seven, and eight. All right, we're getting into a good rhythm. Blowing along here. Reverse lunge and press. Left arm holding your dumbbell. Right leg stepping back. 10 reps. Well, a lot on the arms here to start. That heart rate should feel like it's beginning to creep up though. We'll do two more rounds and take a break. Two more. All 
All right, swimmer presses. Still on the stability ball this time. Being elevated just gets you a little bit better range on that fly on the way down. Triceps are feeling it after all these presses. First two. Seven, eight, nine on the ground for those mountain climbers. Cross body variation, full range of motion, eight on each side. Then you can go ahead and stand up. Six, seven, eight. All right, go ahead and stand up here for seven. So for number seven, we warmed up with bent of a row with the head down, chest down, and overhand grip like we're holding a bar. So hinge over, tight core. This is a two second tempo up, two second down. So one, two, one, two, seven times. One, two, one, two, one, two. There's three. Five. It's gonna make you really focus on your form and on engaging the muscles the whole time. There's seven. All right, we got one more round then we're gonna take a break. We got the dumbbell back over to the right side. Stepping back with the left leg. Back and up. If anyone wants to start adding in the knee drive, once that balance component, feel free to bring that knee drive into it for some or all of the reps. Two more. All right, my 10 lunge and press into my swimmer presses. About 80, 90% right now as we finish off our first chunk of class today. We know that break's coming up. Seven, eight, and here's my last one. Get the cardio in, cross body climbers. Make sure you're in a good high plank position. Then there's that rotation through the hips. And eight. All right, then my bed over row, two second tempo up and down. I'm intentionally just really controlling this. Head down, chest down, core is bracing you. Lighten against gravity, two more. And there's my seven on the ground <clears throat> for number six. I recommend using a lighter dumbbell for this. This is a core focused movement. We don't need a lot of weight. We'll do our right side in this round. And when we come back to it, we'll do our left side. So we a, a, uh, raise the core hold position. So here's my core hold. Abs are on. If you want to increase the intensity, feet off of the ground make, while maintaining this angle. And my raise can be not with the arm in front, not with it inside, kind of right in the middle. Holding my weight, raise to about shoulder, chin height, lower down six times. Right side only. Feel pressure on your back, change your angle, put your feet down. And stop. And I should have mentioned that should also be like a almost two second tempo in control up and down. We're taking a break right there. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat. That's our warm up round, and now the real work will begin. We'll go about 60 seconds and then get into our next couple of rounds. But great start, everybody. Get some water.
And as we go into our next rounds here, we're just gonna be looking for how can we progress things? So if you're feeling really comfortable on a movement and you see that you have heavier weights to use, then 100% I need you grabbing those weights right now. Okay, if we're doing cardio movements, that's maybe a faster speed or if a jumping movement, a faster or higher jump. So we're really trying to ramp up the intensity. We should be at 100% intensity after these first couple exercises through the next three rounds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Get your dumbbell in hand. Dumbbell will be in the left hand, stepping back with the right leg, 10 reps. Three, two, one, let's go. Three more rounds of fusion. One more. All right, that dumbbell is gonna go down. We're gonna grab our pair. We're gonna go into our swimmer presses for nine. You're on the ground, you have a little bit shorter range, just really focus in on elbows close to your body when you press up and you drive with the triceps. Eight, nine, all right. Cardio, get the heart rate up. Core and cardio with climbers. Cross body. Six. And stand it up. Two second tempo on our bed over rows. All right, we got those first couple in. Let's start to find 100%. Approach 100% intensity and stay there until we get to our next break. Tempo makes all the difference. Five. There's my seven on the ground. With our four holding the, that raise. Weights on our left side. All right, so find that position. And go. All the way to six. There's my six. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to go into five, which is going to be on our legs, working our legs and our upper body using a squat hold. So we'll go kind of a sumo squat, wide stance, toes pointed out. Heavier weights on these bicep curls we're gonna do, because it's only five reps. Squat hold, long arms, curl it up, lower down. Probably about a two second tempo again for this lower rep count. We're working to five, four, five. All right, we know what we gotta do. Get that dumbbell over to the right hand, step back with the left leg, don't forget about that optional lead drive if you want to work it in. 10 reps. Here's where everything really starts to just accumulate. We're going to get a little more fatigued, but that's what we are here to do. So you don't reach that point to get outside your comfort zone. There's no progress. And I know you're not here to go through the motions. One more. All right. One more breath. Roll those dumbbells. Couple more reps. All the way to nine. Last one for you here to get nine. Quick first cardio for eight. Seven, eight. Second tempo on these rows. All right, squeeze the 
Okay, bend down. Make sure you're active. There. And then go. Squeeze with your lats and your upper back. One more. Right arm working. Lighten the back. Feet off the ground if you want. Second up. Two second down. Number six. Standing up. Heavier dumbbells that you can use for our bicep curls. I want you in that split squat hold. Ideally down to a seated position. You're keeping the chest up and you're having long arms. Five reps. Hasn't been a ton of cardio specific, but if you're missing it, it's about to come. We're gonna start really working that cardio specific stuff coming up. One more here to five. All right. Going into cardio specific, this is gonna be a combo on our legs. You can do it holding a dumbbell down low or with body weight. It follows a three count of a shuffle and a three count of a pulse equal one. And we're gonna do it four times. So watch me. So it's one, two, three, pulse, two, three, that's one. And then two, and then three, and pulse two, three. You gotta do that combo four times. You can follow me if you want, ready? Let's go. Two, three, one. Two, three, two. Pulses should feel different. Three. Be low tension on the legs with them. Two, three. Wow, you got that legs really burning there. Okay, one more round and we take a break. Heart rates up, that's normal. We're gonna grind through this, dig deep. Left arm, right leg goes back. Give me 10. Everything we've done so far has prepared us for the spinal stretch of exercises. I know just did the squat shuffle is not easy. The next three aren't any easier. So you tell yourself right now that you will do it. You can do it. Two more. All right, swimmer press, whatever variation you're doing. Seven, all the way to nine. Let's keep burning the triceps and chest after all these presses. Get the best cross body climbers you got for eight. Eight, good. All right, then we're gonna go ahead into our slower tempo strength. Start bent over row. Glutes, abs engaged, hinge over, head down, chest down. Fighting against gravity. Six and seven. Four hold with raise over to the left side. We're approaching that next break, our final break. After we get through number three, gain the abs. Five, and six. Long, strong arms and even legs with this squat hold and bicep curl for five. Roll the dumbbells, especially on the way down. Four, 
five. All right, and then I told you this is where it gets harder. Squat shuffles with or without your dumbbell. Follow the pattern. Three shuffle, three pulse, four times. One. Do this, play through that burn. One more. All right, and if we're fighting through that on the legs, next one we're gonna have to really fight through with our upper body and our core. We're gonna do three plank up downs on each side. Modifier, if, you're not, if you don't feel comfortable with the plank up downs, is to either elevate your hands on a surface like a desk, tabletop bench, or just hold a lower high plank. For the rest of us, three plank up downs looks like this. Elbows under shoulders, plant the hand under the shoulder, you're up, that's one, and down. Three on each side, ready, go. Here's my first three, I'll switch sides now. Some of you may alternate, that's fine. And my second three. All right, everybody. Wonderful job to get to this point. Well-deserved break right now. Two more rounds left. And the rounds coming up is where we get our results. Whatever goal you're here for today, which is just increase fitness, want a good calorie burn, you need to go maxed out on these last two rounds. Okay, so get some water, get your mindset ready to go. Just like we adjusted after our first break of figuring out where we can increase the intensity, you need to do that same thing going to this because there's really no reason to hold anything back right now. Okay, the way that your body's feeling right now, you know what you're capable of, it needs to be max effort. We will go ahead and get in place. All right, my favorite part of this class, is all the work we've done have led us to this point. And it's our last time doing the right arm press, left leg stepping back 12 times. All right, everyone, let's go. For 10 times, flash back to when I taught this on site, a little longer class format, a little closer to an hour. It's probably about a year ago today that I taught my last on site class. Good. Boomer press. And I definitely miss it, but you know what? I'm just still glad that I had you all here today being able to do it virtually. Boomer press. Eight, nine. Know what to do. Get that heart rate up. Strong core and cardio. Eight. And eight. Heart rate's up as we go into our little tempo rows. Really focus in on that form. If you were using heavier weights and maybe form is breaking down, I'm okay with you dropping down the weight. If you can't maintain this tempo, lower your weight. Five. And seven. On the ground, last time doing our core hold with the range. All right, brace it. Strong leg, long, strong arms for five. And 
And there's my five. All right, we're right where we need to be at as we hit this sweet spot of the, of the class today with our leg combo, shuffle three, pulse three. And that burn is real and it is deep burn at this point. Block it out and fight through it. This is our last combo. Then we know we gotta grind the plank up down to three on each side. Modify again as you want to. All right, core should be engaged before you lift off. Three and switch. All right, and here we are into our next move. All right, and in our next move, we're just gonna go with just some straight cardio of a low to high jump, two 20 second rounds. All right, so I told you there's a lot of cardio in this last half. Uh, this is definitely gonna contribute to that. We'll do two 20 second rounds, and then we just hustle back through this last round. No break, just full go from here. So here's what it looks like, squat low, up high. Doesn't have to be a huge jump. What I don't want to turn into is touch the ground and then come up. It needs to be squat. I don't really care if you touch the ground, just squat and come up. If you don't want to jump, you're not jumping. You just squat. Ready? Let's go. So just that little jump right there, a little spring. My legs. I'm in control. I'm going fast, but I'm in control. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds. Then we do it again. Despite how you're feeling, if your body's if your mind's telling you, like, I need a break, you don't. You can power through this. Let's get ready. And go. Came here today to finish. It's exactly what you're going to do. Three, two, one. All right, everyone, grab that dumbbell you're using. Bring it over the left arm. Step back with the right leg. It's our final round of fusion. Deep breath and go. We feel good to check these presses off. I don't know about you, but shoulders, chest, triceps are feeling it from these first two. Three more. After those jumps, legs. Could add that one to the list. All right. One more press. Seven, eight, and nine. All right, heart rate's probably already up, so we're just the final burst with these climbers. Seven, eight. Please in that back with those heavy dumbbells one last time. Don't give in to the temptation to drop those weights quicker. We're two seconds up and down. Six. Seven. Four hold with raise. Left arm. And six. Girl. Everyone, quick transitions. Keep up this hustle. Final five moves of the day. Cross it off the list. 
Remember the time to go at max effort, now is it. Shuffle pulse, shuffle pulse four times. And to the core, plank up, down, three. Going at your own pace. Three and switch. It's my last one. Then stand up and prepare for these low to high jumps. I was, I'm gonna give everyone like 20 more seconds to just Catch up, you know that we might get spread out a little bit on that last round. All right, so low to high jumps, two 20 second rounds. 10 more seconds and we go. We start our work and you don't stop till they tell you that we're there. Three, two, one, let's go. If it's not a jump anymore, just squat. I want those legs working. Three, two, one. Okay, stop there. 10 seconds, we do it again. And then our last move today. Ready, go. Come on, how many can you get in? You got 10 seconds to make it happen. Give me another eight at least. Three, two, one. Stop it there. All right. Our last move today is a combo move of body weight and cardio. And we're going to follow a pattern of doing a squat jack. And I'm going to give you five to eight reps. And then you just go down to the ground and do a plank jack five to eight reps. If anyone has a mini band, I love doing this with the mini band around the ankles. All right. That's optional. I'm not even going to show it with the mini band. The moves stay the same. So. Let me show the squat jack from this side. So I'm here and back up and that would be one. You can choose to do five to eight. Once you're done with those five to eight, on your last one, plant the hands on the ground, step or jump back, high plank. And then I want five to eight plank jacks. When you hit what you're going for, come up, reset your feet and go. It's a one minute round. You do as many of that as you can, as many as that combo, okay? I think a good goal would be for everybody to get through three rounds of that. So squat jack to plank jack. On my time, five to eight reps, that's your choice. I'm gonna show it with, we'll go with eight. Ready, go. Soft knees. And I'm going to my plank jack now. Got my plank jack net done. I'm gonna come up, reset. Oh boy, I better push it on right on track to get my three rounds. That was our first 20 seconds. So no slowing down. There's my eight. Keep the back flat. Try not to let the butt go up in the air on these plank jacks. No on track, 20 seconds to go. I got to hit that goal. You need to hit your goal. Hit the ground. Finish it with this likely, guys. Keep going until I tell you to stop. Keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. All right. Great job today, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't seen it, there's a survey that went out about all of our virtual offerings. If you have a couple minutes, we appreciate you giving us some feedback as we look at our structure moving forward. If you don't have it, email me directly. I'd be happy to get it to you. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your Thursday and your weekend.